Hey guys, um, got a couple things to show you, but the main thing. What? <laughs> the main thing is, um, oh, can you close the door? Um, th this, uh, part for Jake's gun that I just finished, um, one of Jake's guns, because I'm building four for him, and, uh, the, the, um, bow, uh, the, um, big blasts are completed, and now I'm just finishing up the pump action shotgun, which is what I'm about to show you, sort of, um, and then, uh, I have to do a Petgy Maverick, and I have about a week to finish all that, so that should be fine, because I'm giving it to him for a bath, but... I'm going to show you the breach that I created for his uh, shot, uh, pump action shotgun. So here's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to basically give you a rundown. It um, it is not for the barrel. It is for the RSCB. That is why I had this street joint on there. Um, but I will show you how it works. Because he wanted an RSCB on the pump action shotgun, so this is... So it's um it's sort of bad lighting in here, I'm not sure. Um this is um nine inches of PVC with uh, nine and a half inches of nineteen thirty seconds brass inside of it, with um both of them have a two inch dart slot cut out, so um let's see, do I have stuff in the moment? Yeah. So uh grab some more than this. Yeah. Um so basically this is how it works. I'm gonna cover up the end. But uh, this is how you load the RCB with the breech. Yeah, looks like it's gonna hold about seven darts. As you can see, they're all stacked up to the back, and then I'm just gonna let them fall out. All right, so um, the reason I have the 1930 seconds is there in there because I didn't want to K9 it because that. Is just I don't know I found I came up with this better way to do it. Um, it's a breech loading RCB, but instead of coming through the pump handle, it comes out the top like standard RCBs do. So I'm gonna show you the other parts to it. So um, you attach um, a, a PVC coupler onto where the end of where the Dirt slots cut out, and then this is um you could you could use end caps, but I didn't have any end caps, so I'm just gonna fill in coupler half couplers with uh, hot glue. So um it is uh half of a PVC coupler, C PVC coupler, and 16 brass with E tape jammed in. This is four and a half inches of 916 brass, and um what basically. What's wrong with the pants? Oh, no, that didn't do anything. It's weird. Um, I don't know. The, you can't really see the glare. It's very bad. But, um... So now it's closed, as you can see. Pull this little guy. It opens up. So... The 916 brass, since it's um, uh, since it is um, what's called a uh, one size down from 1930 seconds and fits airtight in it, it creates a um airtight breech fit when it's um in there tight. Um, and I have not glued the 916s in yet, so it's not uh into this part yet. And then since it will totally lose air if I don't do it, I have to hot glue all throughout here. And then so basically. It's sitting on your. Actually, I have the other piece to it. Alright, so basically, um, alright. Oh, okay. 
cup. Okay, you can get it if you want. Um, so here's the plunger tube. Got the uh, elbow, and this is how it will sit. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'll do it now. Basically, this is how it's gonna look. So then you can um, pull out the end cap, which then opens the breech, load the darts, then close it up. What I need to do still is do um, um, a, a breech stop so you didn't pull it out all the way, which would suck. And otherwise, and it's pretty done and it's gonna be awesome because you don't have to load through down the front of the RSB and you don't have to take the pain of caninning and cutting out the um uh the pump handle for the PVC to fit and that wouldn't even work for the version I'm doing. So and I think this is a little faster loading. I don't know. You have your opinions. But this is gonna be a great gun. Um and next thing Quad shot. Uh, just got this from Apple Dude eighty. Just got it in the mail. Um, great, great gun. Uh, Leonard shotgun, as it's normally known, but they've adopted the name Quad Shot, which I like. Um, so. I haven't even opened this up yet. I just shot it a couple times. Um, he has CPV seat it. Put these little sights on. He taped a grip. Definitely added a spring. Um, uh, I'm not sure about reinforcements. Uh, rear, rear loading on both sides. Um, and a PVC coupler barrel spacer. Um, I will not be keeping these barrels because I will be using inline clip PEG barrels. Um, I will not be keeping these as eye sights. In fact, I'm take them off right now unless they're super glued. There we go. There's one. Where'd it go? In my shirt. And there. Yeah, they're super glued. I think. Whatever. It's not worth it right now. But I don't like the sights because one, it doesn't allow me to open it again, and two, you're not gonna take the time to look down a sight in a Nerf War because it's too fast paced. And even if you did take that time, it's just, it's, it's the steppings aren't accurate enough anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it to you. Shoot it for you. Uh, I'm, I will be getting it repainted because I'm, the, the, it's not bad, it's just not my style. Um, inline clips, different spring, and yeah. And yeah, patchy in my clips. So. One didn't even shoot. Ooh, that was a pretty good shot. Awesome. This is a nice dart, by the way. Perfect dome. I didn't make it. Um, and I didn't buy it either. It, he gave it to me for a contract for an angel breach to measure the uh, dart, the measure the clip. Dang. Yeah, it definitely wasn't that one on. But here's what uh, some darts did do it. Yeah, there's one. Cool. But there is work to be done, and I will do it. So.